Today's top 10 weather day, but word in the WCCO weather department, it's going to be a great top 10 weather weekend. Yeah, that's wonderful. The humidity is gone. It's very comfortable in Duluth, where they're setting up for the All Pints North Brew Fest. It's another perfect day on Lake Superior. Coming up in Molly's full forecast, we'll tell you when the humidity cranks back up a bit. But today, from the Twin Cities to Duluth, we are enjoying just great weather. Matt Brickman and Jason DeRussia are along Lake Superior for today's Go Into the Lake stop. Good to see you guys. Hello. Hi there. Hey, Liz and Amelia. We are at the Bayfront Festival Park right now. It's abs Man, we just have hit the jackpot. Yeah. We feel a little guilty getting paid for this. Only a little guilty, though. We are still... You might. Uh, I, feel, yeah. I feel fine. <laughs> you know, this place, as you mentioned, is pretty busy as they're getting ready for the All Pines North uh, Brew Festival. Uh, started six years ago with 30 breweries. 130 breweries will be here this weekend. All from uh, about 100 from Minnesota, the others from all around the United States. Sold out for tomorrow, but keep it in mind for next year. Yeah, and we've had a, a ton of fun really over the last couple of days, just packing so much in. Last night, we were uh, having a good time at the Boat Club in Fitkers, back at Fitkers again this morning, but hanging out with our friends from CCO Radio. So last night, we were kind of out on the water overlooking the lake. Today, we were in the dimly lit basement of Fitkers, the barrel room of the brew house. We joined Dave Lee and Jimmy Erickson, talking about all the fun we've been having so far. Far. Some of the stuff we've got planned for today and then uh, shared our favorite Mike's Ma Mike Max stories. For sure. Yep. There's so much to see and do here. We've really just scratched the surface, hoping to give viewers some ideas if they want to head up 35. We've talked about Glen Sheen Mansion a few times this week. Here's another cool stop. They take you on this Nooks and Crannies tour, and they showed us the old boathouse. This is one of the last structural boathouses on Lake Superior. It's a little spooky in there right now, dark, musty. There's even an old diving bell underwater. They're hoping to raise some money to rehabilitate the boathouse to bring it back to its 1910 look. So check it out. Speaking of boats, we, uh, we went out on the boat to do some fishing out on the lake, trout fishing. And we're going to give you a look at that coming up here in a little bit. You've had a long streak of not catching fish. Correct. I've never caught a fish in a go into the lake segment before. So Sounds uh, I'm right familiar. there with you. Yep. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm right there with you, yeah. Jason. So it's, don't feel it's bad. It's not fun. It's embarrassing. You're yeah. like, what is you're, what is wrong with us, Amelia? You I and I are great outdoors face, people. So I think. Listen, I helped clear up a lake, though. I was <laughs> yeah. catching all the weeds, so I feel like yeah. I've done my well, part. <laughs> we digress. Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.